Hey there friends and welcome back to Imagine with Royce. If you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Royce. I'm a painter, sculptor, and a collector. Today I thought it would be a lot of fun to discuss the top animatronics that I never got the chance to work on but that I would have so loved to. <music> All right, so in no particular order, I'm going to start over in a bug's land at California Adventure. I miss that land so, so much, but for me, the figure that I would have loved to have worked on is Hopper. Now, Hopper, of course, is the villain from that Pixar feature, and his movements were just incredible. I do love that show. I love a mixture of figures and projection. I think that just marries it in. Um, the Muppet Show at Hollywood Studios is a really good example of that and Mickey's Filler Magic, but I just always have loved his figure. I thought it was so impressive the way it just bursts out from like behind the screen and the smoke and his wings. He's intimidating. Those Black Widows were intimidating. The Flea, it was just a great, great show. I do remember Flick in the shop, but I never got the chance to work on him, but that is definitely a top one on my list. Um, second is going to be the World of Motion animatronics. The World of Motion is of course a retired attraction at Epcot and wow those figures I don't know something about that generation of Imagineering just made such amazing original content that I feel like the parks today are missing incredibly that true genuine creativity from nothing and make it into something that just pushes you there's something that when you take a land from a film of course, it's great and it's wonderful, but you're already using something that's already been created. It's almost like you're skipping the hardest step, which is the actual creation um, that I think that Imagineering truly is famous for. Think of your favorite attractions, Pirates, Haunted Mansion, Tiki Room Birds, Matterhorn, Small World. All these beautiful, amazing attractions are from an original concept idea. And that's something that I really do think that Imagineering is missing in today's era or generation, if you will. So that yeah, that's definitely something that I think needs to be implemented more is original ideas, original stories. And coming up next is going to be in Disney's Animal Kingdom. I love the Yeti from Expedition Everest. Now he, I know he hasn't worked in, gosh, over 10 years now, but I honestly would have loved the opportunity to work on him. I don't know if he ever was refurbed. I think that his movements, once he stopped, there really isn't a need to refer him or repaint him because he's not moving. He's pretty stationary. I'm sure maybe his hands have been repainted because you do get a lot of movement by them, but I think that he's pretty much um, just maintained the same look and the same fur. He's incredibly expensive. I can only imagine how many yards of fabric was used in alpaca fur to make that look and, the, and those dreads. Um, I do hope one day that Disney fixes him. I know that Joe Brody, it was kind of something that he wanted to do prior to retirement, but um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Coming up next is actually going to be at Disney's Animal Kingdom again, and this is going to be the Dino Land area, and that's the dinosaurs. So my mentor um, at Figure Finishing worked on a lot of these original creepy dinosaurs right from the dinosaur um, franchise and attraction. They are scary, but they are so impressive. And again, original idea, just so immersive. You feel like you transferred back in time. It's a threat. And that's something that's missing in Tiana's Bayou Adventure, in my opinion, is that threat. You see that T-Rex chasing you. He's terrifying. He's large. He's in charge and he's out to get you. Um, so I definitely would have loved to have painted him. Also, my mentor um, also worked on a dead elephant that was in the Kilimanjaro Safari. There used to be a baby elephant, I believe, at the end, and now I think he's backstage somewhere, and I know he has a name. I don't know what his name is, but if you remember, put it down below in the comments. But there used to be a mother that was evidently killed by like poachers or something like that, and I remember him telling me that he worked so long on this elephant to make it look so real and then Imagineering ended up not using it in the attraction. So I wonder where 
that figure is today. The archives is just an amazing place. It is just filled with so much amazing props, not only from the parks, but films and TV shows and parades. I mean, the list can go on and on and on. So it's definitely a treasure trove. If you've ever gotten the chance to go to the archives, check it out. And then to kind of take it back home to the Disneyland Resort, a figure that I always wanted to work on that I never got to was the original Yeti. I got to work on the new one, but never the old one that had been there since the 70s. And that's something that I really want to recreate. A little hint for you that's something that's coming up in the future on this channel. But yeah, that's definitely a figure that I would have loved to have worked on. Also Pickwick from the Haunted Mansion. I think that he would have been really fun. Buzzy would have been a lot of fun. Now all of these figures I have recreated in my shop, but the uh, original figures, there's just something about touching those. I remember when I got to work on a Tiki Room Bird and my first pirate there's just something really magical about it. And uh, yeah, that's my list of figures that I really wish that I could have worked on. Um, what figures do you dream about painting or getting the chance to really look up close at? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this sort of content, please let me know, dreamers. Hit subscribe and ring that bell icon. That way you're notified whenever I upload a new video. I wish you all a wonderful day. Be nice to one another. And always remember, dreamers, not only to follow your dreams, but to chase them. Later. Thank you.